Um, something that we were talking about off air, you guys, I want to get into a little bit, but I'm going to ask Anita to take point on this. It's about the new Cowboys, uh, oh, the Cowgirls. Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. The Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. Can you can you take lead on that? Yeah, I don't know. There's a new documentary. I believe it's seven episodes. I don't know. if Have you guys seen it? Seen any I've seen previews? It. I've or seen anything? it. It was great. I've seen previews. I've read a couple articles. So it's basically what the process of having that you have to go through to become a Dallas Cowgirl cheerleader. And some of these girls have been there for years, but just because you make the team doesn't mean you're going to make the team again. So it shows like how they can cut them at any time, the hours that they put in, but it's eye opening because you realize how much they go to go through, like the mental health struggles they go through. One of the girls, the previous year, like someone had put um, the air, the air tag, Oh, on her uh-huh. car uh-huh. and was following her. She had around. a stalker. Yeah, she had a stalker and she had no clue and mm. it took a toll on her. Mm. One of the other girls has had um, an eating disorder. They go through, so like they hurt and they injure and they tear so much, but they keep putting off like taking care of their bodies because then they can't finish out the year or they cannot try out for the next year. So they wait until they're done. And for instance, one of the staff members, she used to be a Dallas Cowgirl cheerleader. But when she was done from that point until now, she's had over 12 surgeries. Wow. To either fix her hip, her her knee, her foot. Like, they go through so much. It's crazy. Well, it's get a, paid nothing. It's a sport. Like, it's a yes. sport that they're doing as well on the sidelines of the, of the football sport. It is. Yeah, I think that, obviously, what I took away from it was the cheerleaders, they work so hard they do. to be a part of this. You have to you know, factor in that many of these women have professional careers. After that, then they go back to you know, practice, rehearse, dance, just, just put it all in, right? No hours of sleep hardly ever. Very little pay, if at anything. No. And I think it's more so of an achievement of, I made it to the stage at the highest level that they can possibly be like in the NFL. And as a Dallas uh, cheerleader, it's it's the best, right? Right. It's the best. It doesn't get better than that. So I think that they're just motivated by something bigger than money and anything else. Right. The problem is, is that, you know, the, the process to bring them in, it's veterans that have to continue to try out, be, try out and beat out the rookies every, every single year. So you have veterans that are, Equally as good, but somebody might come in with a Be little better. bit more pizzazz, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then they'll take that role of the of the you know the veteran, right? Right. And I thought that was a little unfair. But that's just kind of life, kind of how it goes right. and how to be there. Because they want the best of the best. So they're not going to keep you just because you've been there three years they, if there's someone better than now, you. Now, the split. The, what's that the split? The kick split. The kick split that they do with all the cheerleaders lined that's up. That's what ends up hurting That them. looked like <gasps> no. the most excruciating thing where they all, and it looks Jump nice. Up. But when they all do the split at the same time, I'm just watching it over and over. And I'm cringing like, oh, my. It's just too painful. So what do they get out of this? Like, you're saying they don't get paid very much. They they That's my work, point. Oh, they overwork hours. But, like, do they get career opportunities after they're done with it? After they're done with their stint? Do they look, get fame? Do, but, what, what, what? So look at it this way. It, obviously, it's not a lot of money. You're on a national stage. I think that the relationships that you build Mm -hmm. by being in that organization is far better than the paycheck. Long term. So if you want to move into, you know, being like a commentator and move into like uh, working with the Dallas Cowboys in any kind of field, I think the opportunity is there if you have good graces, if you have great relationships. Relationships are everything. But does that happen? Do we know former Dallas cheerleaders that get into those positions? Well, um, well, actually, there's a few of them that serve, and they're the ones that that run the team for the for the cheerleader side. Mm-hmm. Um, but they've all been there for years, so they would have to step away for someone else to come in and take their place. But they were given that position because of how they started as well. Yeah. So look at that. It's like someone that's on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, right? You're on national television and after the your you know the relationship whatever season's over with you can get into other things in entertainment like sure. e news or things. i guess it's kind of what you make out of it mm-hmm. so to speak okay but a lot of them just go back to their regular jobs right most of them have either come straight out of high school or have graduated from a university and then try out i mean i i get the whole 
the what's the is the question is it worth it is that what the question is kind of because it's like what it what what good does it bring you i get the whole like oh when i was younger i was a dallas cowboy cheerleader like right. i get that like that's a really cool thing you could say that's pretty but cool is it worth it for those 12 surgeries that you're gonna get when <laughs> well, you're them in your 30s or I have, whatever not one of them had said oh i, I regret re- it i regret it i never wanted i wish i would have never done this not okay. one of them has said that i got okay. a point so carissa was big into cheerleading okay she, she still goes around and she'll do a twist and put her hand up and do something weird, <laughs> right? And she has, like, issues with, like, maybe her leg or her back sometimes. But she's never once said, I regret it, because for her, it was more of the spirit of the competition, the camaraderie with the women. Right. Okay. And it was just and relationships lifelong that she, she can talk back and be like, remember this time? I, it's just hard to take back those memories. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. But I don't I think she had to do kick splits all the time yeah, where it exactly. messes up your joints and tears exactly, your... Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. But a lot of them, they're doing it because it's something that they saw as kids and that's what they wanted to do or because their moms were what they consider legacies and their moms were in it. So it's kind of like you're expected to try out mm-hmm. and do it as well. So I want to hear. I want to hear from some of the cheerleaders that didn't make it, and their moms. Then <clears throat> their moms used to be cheerleaders. I think that would have to be a whole new up season because well, they didn't talk about. They that. had the one mother, <clears throat> and her daughter was kind of following to her footsteps, mm-hmm. and she said, "Hey, it's tough out there. You gotta, you gotta go and it do what Victoria's you gotta do." Victoria's mom. Yeah. There you go. I don't remember her name, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. We'll be out there at Visit Oxnard, so. The, at least the veterans, at least some of them should be there. So we'll meet a few of them mm-hmm. and we'll talk about their experiences and see if they could tell the truth. Yeah, <laughs> tell, the truth. Say, tell the truth on air. Say, let me see your scars. Yeah, Where exactly. are you hurting? Yeah, exactly. No, but I get it. They probably, they even though they don't get paid much, they get that fulfillment from like engaging with the acti- with the community, mm-hmm. doing um, a lot of fundraisers for organizations you know they give back to the community so i can see where you would get your fulfillment and joy from that okay i totally agree so talking about cheerleaders i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pivot just a little bit all right um the laker girls are also really known to be like a high up there right sure have you guys ever seen the laker girls yes 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 Okay. I think it's when and where it's different okay (laughs) i haven't seen them recently but Back in the day, I what made them known to was Paula Abdul, right? Because right. everybody knew Paula Abdul mm-hmm. was a Laker girl, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel like they were more present, like in the early '90s, late '80s. I feel like people knew more about them, and you'd see them more, and you'd see them in magazines or whatever than now. So you say like they're not they're the same caliber then now today? No, I don't know. Or, I don't know. or are they not Whoa. presenting them? the same like mm-hmm. i don't just, understand it's uh well mm-hmm. i think that in my opinion i think that the <laughs> don't kill me la i think it laker girls are here dallas uh, cheerleaders are here i don't argue and, with you on and that. and i think that's because obviously the nfl is a bigger brand right the lakers are a, a monumental brand but so the Dallas Cowboys is as big as it gets, right? I think they've been around longer too, though. I think yes, I they've think been they... around since like 1954. Who's, who's been around Who? longer? Cowboys, the, the cheerleaders? cheerleaders, the cowgirl cheerleaders. Yeah, they have probably so. Yeah, because I yeah. don't think the cheerleaders came for the Lakers until the 80s when uh, Jerry Buss came and mm-hmm. took over yeah, and was absolutely. trying to turn the organization around yeah. and get his money back and all that stuff. And if you're gonna be a cheerleader for any NBA organization, you want to be a cheerleader for the Grizzlies. <laughs> You want you want to be chilly for the Spurs? It's the Lakers. It's, is yeah. it laughable, right? Right. Or it's the Lakers. It's the or Laker the, girls. Or, or the Clipper. The Clipper girls. You want to be the Clipper girls? Yeah, that I've don't even heard. sound right. I mean, no. <laughs> it's, but maybe it's because we're from the West so, Coast, so that's what's known to us. Whereas you're from the East Coast, somebody else might say, "Well, like." I don't know. I the, want to be what, a Nets New, girl. The, <laughs> what are the Knicks? The, the like the, the Chili's for the Knicks? They're, they're, they're big, but they're not the Lakers. Yeah, yeah. I saw the Laker <laughs> girls in December. <laughs> and that would be a good a good poll or a good thing to ask viewers. That's like, what we're gonna do when we do Laker a short girls Laker or girls or you know Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Cheerleaders. It's clear, or clearly it, the cheerleaders. Or maybe like who's the top in each sport? You know, whether it's basketball, football. You know, it's football. Yeah. No, I mean like which teams? have the top cheerleading cheerleading teams in oh, each, oh, in each oh, different sport. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. I think 
I can't even think of any other cheerleaders besides the Laker girls. I mean, what's next? I don't. I don't. Soccer doesn't have cheerleaders. Do they? They have a. They have the band playing, <laughs> if, but the that's bands. not the cheerleaders. Yeah. No, but I mean, like for all the NBA teams, like would you say there's would the they're, people they're out che- there say like, oh no, like my team's cheerleaders are way bigger than the Laker girls? You know what I mean? I think it just depends is, where you grow up. Even that question's hilarious. Though. Yeah, I know. My for me, it's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, for the Vancouver. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Anyway, anyway, uh, let's take a quick break. Uh, Bennett, when it's up to no good, let's go.